Welcome to the Digital Marketing Insights Podcast, brought to you by Brightside Digital. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm delighted to say we have Kavya here, who's a content specialist and business developer. Kavya, how are you doing today? Hi, Tom. I'm very good. Thanks for having me in the show. And uh, I really look forward to our conversation. How are you? Uh, I'm great, thank you. I really appreciate that. Kavya, can you start by talking about your career today and some of the things you've been up to? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, to begin with, uh, my my background is kind of a mix of uh, journalism, a uh, bit of media consulting, PR, and uh, content marketing and sales support. So, well, I'll I'll start with uh, with my current role. So, I am actually working in the RFP and sales support uh, division in a financial service company called Global Shares, which is now part of uh, J.P. Morgan. So. RFP is request for proposal. So this is kind of a segment. This is kind of a division where it's it's part of a pre-sale. It's it's a pre-sales uh, division in the business development domain where I help all the salespeople with with you know uh, providing all the content related to our product and services that they can provide to a prospect or to a client uh, who are looking to know more about our products and services. So my role is to provide um, all sorts of information, answer all the questions that we have from a prospect. Um, you know, so that involves, you know, pr- preparing proposals, doing all the documentation side of things, writing uh, answers to to the questions that we get and doing product demonstration and helping with all the content related stuff uh, for the salespeople. So basically in, in short way, in short term, I would say uh, we are the the backend developers for the salespeople. So that's all on the content side of things uh, in in the RFP and uh, sales support division, uh, the role that I'm currently in. But uh, I actually started my career in journalism. So I did my postgrad diploma in journalism, and then I went on to pursue uh, business journalism. So I was working for um, online and print publications back in India. And during my time, uh, roughly two, two and a half years in, in business journalism, basically financial journalism, I was majorly focusing on startup section, like startup beat, uh, covering startups, in, interviewing founders and uh, understanding uh, the businesses and, uh, you know, interviewing uh, investors and understanding the investment part uh, of the business, you know, basically covering startups, technology, uh, venture capital investment, private equity investment, mergers and acquisitions, like how investors invest um, in in startups and how startups raise money, how the deal, how the whole deal space works. So that, that, that was my kind of a domain. So I was always on foot, you know, always on field, uh, talking to people, talking to investment bankers, uh, lawyers and investors and, getting stuff from them, breaking stories and doing all sorts of, you know, news reporting and interviewing and writing for print and online uh, publications. And uh, then I actually thought that, you know, I should give a pause uh, and uh, why not pursue further studies? Like why, why not uh, learn something more? So I started, I thought I should move out of India and I came to Ireland in 2019 to pursue my master's in uh, politics because that was one particular subject that I really wanted to learn from the very beginning. And uh, international relations and diplomacy is something that always excites me. So that was that was in 2019 when I came and started my uh, master's course and I finished in 2020 and right after the, after the lockdown uh, when things were you know uh, all quiet and everything I I got an opportunity to um, to do an internship uh, at World Trade Center in Dublin so again World Trade Center in Dublin it was a it was it was a very exciting time uh, while I was I was uh, interning there so my whole role my role actually revolved uh, was was a mix of i would say uh, marketing and sales so i was doing research and reporting and writing on for the website for the 
for clients and doing all sorts of relationship building with with the partners with our with our client partners and uh, you know helping them you know uh, spread or reach their products in different markets doing all sorts of uh, you know writing part and analytical uh, producing analytic analytical reports and conducting webinars for businesses helping them in all sorts of uh, uh, executing all social media campaigns so that was my time uh, as an intern you know at world trade center and then i actually uh, got an opportunity it was a brief time well but it was a media consulting uh, firm in uh, dublin and it was all stuff pr stuff like you know doing uh, public relations so i was writing press releases for clients i was documenting uh, those press releases and and you know spreading out to to media people and um, you know reaching out to all uh, journalists pitching story ideas to them uh, then again also my my role also involved a lot of uh, you know uh, strategizing social media content for some of the clients so that involved from twitter linkedin uh, facebook instagram so again it was very exciting time you know right again or anything that that then that, that involves writing and content writing uh researching and uh generating ideas for social media is these are something that 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 keeps me motivated and um after that short uh duration as a pr executive i got an opportunity uh in my current company as an rfp and sales support executive so where again everything is related more or less related to content where i'm i'm producing content on daily basis and that involves writing uh, for the website uh, you know producing documents doing proposal stuff writing cover letters doing uh, writing you know creating presentations powerpoint presentations and um, so yes that's that's pretty exciting and um, i think all in in all different domains and segments that i've been uh, throughout my career uh, one thing that's very common is the skill that's very common is is communication and content writing and uh, you know relationship building so yes that's that's keep that, that has kept me going for now so yeah and obviously content writing is one of your key areas is there any campaign work or or advice you would give to anyone from some of your results your previous work that you'd like to share on the show yeah sure well um if i were to talk about any particular campaign uh, i would say it wasn't a campaign per se but it was something that i that i that i was very that that kind of motivated me to stay upbeat and uh, you know uh, be with the technology and yet do my yet follow my passion actually so um social media analysis is something that i have uh, really enjoyed doing uh, in my previous role so for example in a in a media consultancy firm when i was i was there uh, i used to do you know twitter analysis using twitter analytical it was a tool called twitter analytics where you can actually measure um user engagement and you can learn how to make your tweets more um, successful so that was that was a tool that i actually kind of uh, learned during my time in the media uh, space and uh, i was actually working for a client uh, where month on month we had to send a, you know monthly report monthly presentation to them and using twitter analytical tool i kind of had like an understanding that how the tool uh, worked and uh, it 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 actually gave me a quite uh, impressive way of uh, uh, telling the client that you know this is how your twitter feed looks for this particular month and this is how you should progress for for the following month and you know it gives you the, the whole tweet activity dashboard like you analyze the data you get uh the, the 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 data that you get from tweets and you understand how your followers are responding so that way you can actually tell your client uh that you know uh, this is how your uh, progress has been for the month and uh, it gives you the whole analyti- analytical report so basically it, it was a very useful tool um uh for that particular client and and for businesses in general i would say so because you get to see how your 
customers, how your followers are reacting or responding to the content that you have posted uh, or you post on a regular basis. So, and you, you can, you can basically predict the consequences of any sort of campaign that you can run on Twitter using that particular tool, I would say, and you can, you know, using that data, you can optimize that same data for your future campaigns. So in that way, I actually, uh, for month on month, when I was doing the presentation for that particular client using the tool, uh, it actually gave them a, a, an understanding of, you know, how, what kind of content should they post on Twitter or should they tweet and who are the, for who are their active followers? Uh, you know, you, it gives you a, like a report card with statistics of user engagement retention rate, you know, view rate on tweets, photos or videos, or even for that matter, how many clicks you get per tweet or retweets and the number of followers that you're gaining or losing in a particular month. So that's that's a kind kind of a progress report card, uh, I would say, for uh, for any businesses that would, you know, that they can use. So yes, that was uh, for that particular uh, client that I was working on and it was it was it was a I would say a healthy uh, way to manage and see the progress of of your content on Twitter so yes um, I would say that was kind of a I, I, I don't know if I should say a campaign or something yeah. but yes that was an incident uh, where I actually it helped me to kind of understand how this whole social media uh, you know, space works and how the data analysis part of social media can actually help businesses improve their content uh, on a regular basis. So that was one incident. But um, I would say from my journalism days, one incident that comes in my, on my mind is uh, it was a news break, actually. So I used to cover startups uh, at that time. I used to, you know, extensively write on uh, startups and technology. And there was one uh, Indian company, it was a unicorn, and they had kind of raised a nine, they had raised $900 million. Uh, and it was a big deal at that point in time in 2018. And some new investors had come in with a higher valuation. And that was a news break that I, I made uh, during my time. And it was, it was, it was a good, um, I think it was a good break for me because, you know, people were actually following that particular uh, company and, you know, all the media people, all the media houses were, uh, you know, writing about and, you know, constantly writing about that company. And that time uh, I, along with my editor, you know, we kind of broke that story late at mid, you know, mid at midnight. And, you know, it was, it was a breakthrough actually, and uh, gave me a good, boost i would say so yeah it was all again again it was all about you know the relationship building and the the kind of uh, uh networking that i used to do during that time with with investors and founders and you know were constantly writing uh, uh website stories website news stories and a, a good form of uh, news reporting i would say i yeah. love that and uh is there any particular areas you go to for new information, new insights and, and connecting with journalists? How, how do you go about that process? Well, the best way I would say for, for any form of networking or, uh, you know, or any form of relationship building is now social media. Uh, I would say LinkedIn is, is the best way to connect people with people professionally like you know um uh, my go-to social media platform would be linkedin first of all if if i were to kind of look up for somebody and want to reach out for any rich insight or any any knowledge or anything i would first you know search for somebody on linkedin and then you know with a with a good message there and i would reach out to them and i would tell them what my aims and objectives are uh, and uh, I would, I would, uh, I would mention in the message that you know, uh, I really liked your profile or something. And then following the same person on other social media platforms, for example, Twitter is another platform where you see how the person is actually responding to uh, to different things that are happening in and around the world. So, and in that way, I think I have actually kind of managed to kind of uh, make a good network of people around me, be it personally or professionally, uh, right from my journalism days. So that's a good way of uh, kind of reaching out to people and uh, 
professionally and and getting good uh, uh, sort of uh, information from them so yes and the only i think the only advice that i can give to people uh, to the millennials or to anyone is to be very abreast with with the social media technology that we are you know we usually see all different technologies that are that have come in from uh, uh and the tools basically social media tools like i said twitter analytics was one of the tool that i i learned during my uh, job and it has helped me understand the more you know the nitty gritties of how the how twitter as a social media platform has evolved so and it's very important to kind of you know always measure your content like you know you you might be producing different types of content on social media like from different platforms but it's it's important to reflect back and and see the progress and you know then customize your uh, future content or your content like accordingly so yes yeah, so i would say be very impressed with the with with what's happening on social media on different platforms brilliant and uh the digital industry as a whole especially in your journalism area do you see anything coming in the future that might enhance that role well if i were to say uh, the skills or or the kind of tools that would help me uh, enhance my role my current role or 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 any kind of role that i get into in future uh, is like you know the person has to be very uh, i would say it's very important to know few basic tools like digital tools or social media tools for example for example if i were to talk about my current role uh, which is the rfp uh, and sales support business development role so one of the important tools is the rfp project management tool which is uh, lupio so it's it's a so basically it helps in strategizing your content basically helps you in uh, content management uh, in your whole rfp response process so it's a kind of a uh, kind of a content library i would say that allows you to kind of uh, store all your content all your information and manage it as per your need so basically your content is very much automated like in a way that it's updated and you know organized regularly so i would say since the time i've started using this tool uh, it's a, it, it, i i would say it's it's a very intelligent tool you know that eliminates all your tedious tasks like for example like with a single click of the mouse you can uh, th- that automation tool called magic in lupio can you know complete your whole questionnaire because it actually picks and chooses um the keywords the important keywords from the question and with all the information that you have stored uh, on your in your content library will automate it will will be uh, answered uh, directly and uh, the whole technology in the lupio will give you insights and you know make suggestions and recommendations in your uh response process so that helps you work smarter actually and you can you can quickly finish all your um, questionnaires and proposal and all the content related stuff so it's a it's a very uh, strategic uh, content management tool that i've learned uh you know in in my current role and it has actually helped me respond to uh, such process such projects in in different projects uh, very quickly so that's one and again the other important uh, tool i would say is kanban tool it's a very i would say it's a very good entry point to 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 begin with basically it allows you to kind of you know visualize your workflow and uh, with all sort of time tracking functionalities and it also kind of helps you to collaborate easily with with your teammates and with the features like you know notification reporting and team management all these features helps you uh, manage your projects uh, simultaneously and quickly so yes these are some of the tools i would say that have helped me progress in my career up to date and uh, yeah love it and um kavya we always end the show by asking the same question which is if you could bottle up one personality trait yourself that you could pass on to others what would it be um 
one personality trait uh, i would say being very adaptive like um i see myself like i'm somebody who's 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 very adaptive in nature like my nature is uh, i can adapt to any sort of circumstance uh, any sort of situation uh, at any given point in time uh, so for example if i if i were to see media industry in general the industry is evolving with new technology social media uh te- social media tools coming in and and all the the new way of how social media is evolving and the whole media industry is is uh, is, is is evolving i would say the only thing that you can uh, manage to keep yourself uh, updated with all kind of uh, with different types of technologies or with different new segments is being very adaptable so like it's impossible to predict exactly like where the world of media is heading i would say but one thing is for sure that it will continue to evolve as as you know new technologies are developed and and new ways of communications are created so so the best way is to stay ahead um, to stay ahead of the curve you know and to be open to change and you know embrace these technologies be it in the digital world in the content marketing world or in any sort of world so like you know who who knows you may be you may be the one who create the next big thing so yeah so just be adaptive and reflective love that and kavya if anyone wants to reach out to you to learn more how can they get in touch well i'm very active on uh, linkedin uh twitter and uh, <laughs> uh instagram so yes uh, linkedin is is the go to way to kind of reach out to me so i'm i'll be very happy to welcome people there love that thank you so much for being on the show thank you so much tom <laughs> <laughs>